Hello, this is Sheila Finkelstein of Technology for Seniors Made Easy.com. This video is a continuing on our setting up a Yahoo email account and using it for email and other things. So we set up the account. Now I'm going back in. I want to check mail. So going to yahoo.com and let me show you. I am going to actually make this screen, making this screen a little larger by hitting Command plus on my Mac or Control plus on your uh, PC. Okay, check mail. I'm going to go in and check mail, and I've been signed out, so it's requesting my sign in. Okay, the uh, name I'd sign. We try to put it together, didn't hold. I did create another ID. Password. Obviously, I don't want to repeat my password here. Now, I have a choice to keep me signed in, which, which I had done, or if you're using, other people are using the same computer, you want to keep your mail private. Just uncheck it, and that way you'll have to sign in every time you want to check your mail. I'll leave that unchecked and I'm signing in. Clicking on the sign in and there we are. And there's the email I got in the inbox. You see the inbox here? I'm making the screen larger again to make it easier for us to see. You'll see the inbox has is bold and it shows the number one. It shows that there is mail in there. If there were no mail in there, if the mail had been opened, it wouldn't be bold. So, uh, clicking on this should open it, double clicking. And when you sign up, you're going to get a full instruction from Yahoo, a welcome, reminder of your email address, and it will tell you everything you want to know about contacts, personalizing your inbox, and how you can connect on mobile devices if you have them. Note the inbox is no longer bold. Now, I have a choice. Right now I want to keep that in there, but I can check that. Okay. Well, it should be able to check mark. Okay, starting there, I check what I want. And I could go up to delete it. I could mark it as spam. There are other actions here um, that I don't think you probably will have need for, but just to know that's there. Okay, now if this were something I wanted to write, now I'm going to compose an email. Simply like you compose any other email, I'll send an email to myself testing. I can compose this any way I want, the way you um, would do a Word document if you're used to doing a Word document. You can highlight it, make it bold, and do the full range of things. Okay, now very simply up here, I want to send this, and that's it. When I get an email back, I can, let me see if this one is reply. Okay, here's the Yahoo email. You can see that there are arrows here. So if it was just one person, I simply reply to sender. Obviously, I'm not going to reply to Yahoo. It says no reply. Or going back to go back the arrow up here. Email has to be open to be replying, or there are two hours, it's reply all, if there were several people that were on the email, and this is forwarding the message, if I wanted to send it to, okay, so I want to send it to me on my home computer, so that I can, well, I am on my home computer, but I'm on lines for the Yahoo, so I want it to also read it on my home computer. So I'm sending it to one of my email addresses. Just send, and then I can look closely there and have two windows open. 
Okay, for some reason, it's asking me to fill in the letters. At least their letters are easy enough to read. So that's it for composing and sending and replying, although that was quick to email. Again, this is Sheila Finkelstein at TechnologyForSeniorsMadeEasy.com. If you have any questions, please go to the bottom of the page and click on Easy Senior Technology at gmail.com. Look forward to hearing from you. Bye.